Hey Kipsters, in this tutorial we're going to uh, figure out how to set up your gradebook as well as add assignments into uh, your gradebook from Illuminate. So you'll want to go ahead and start by logging in with your username and password. If you are new to using Illuminate this year, uh, your username is your first initial and last name and the password is Illuminate2016. So once you're in, you'll see your dashboard that looks like this. We're going to focus primarily on this uh, assignments and gradebook today. So you can go up to here to gradebook and you can click My Gradebooks. This will list off all the active gradebooks you have. You will have one gradebook for each of your classes. So in this example, I've already um, input Annie's fourth period reading class. And I'll show you how to do, um, to do that. So click the green button that says Create New Gradebook. We're going to use the point space system. Um, essentially, this just means that we have uh, weighted quizzes and tests a certain amount, and so we'll use it out of 100. And click Next. And then give the gradebook overall a name. So in this case, I see that Annie's uh, has a fifth period reading class, so I'm actually just going to name this gradebook fifth reading. And I've already selected the classes. If I just want to make sure that that's the correct class, you can hover over it and you'll see it says show class roster. And I'm like, oh, this is her, first, their, her fifth period class. We're all set. You'll then press save. The new gradebook has been successfully created. And you'll see that when you press the My Gradebooks drop down, her fourth and fifth period is now in there. So let's actually go back to the gradebook list where they're all listed out. And I want to show you a couple of key details here. So first, you'll see for each of the gradebook, when you click Details, you can actually modify here some of the things that you want to see under Preferences. So Setup and Preferences. And then um, we're going to calculate all the blank scores as uh, just missing and not as a zero. And then there's some other uh, preferences that you can also change as well. You can take a look at the Assignments tab. Um, you have preferences on how you would like the assignments to be marked and how they would be ordered. So currently they're ordered by the date in which they're assigned. So next we need to set up the Categories and Assignment Tags. So you can go to Setup, Category, and Assignment Tags. And then tests are going to be weighted 80% um, of a student's grades and quizzes are 20%. So we're going to go ahead and add that in. So the name would be test. The weight here is 80%. We're not going to drop the lowest score. And then finally, this last little piece, you can create an icon if you want to and attach the test to an icon. You'll be able to see it on your gradebook if it helps you. You don't have to. It only adds up to 80%, so I'm going to go ahead and add the next category, which is for quiz. And then I'm going to weight it 20%. Once you do that, you'll want to save that to all the gradebooks. So I can click all gradebooks, and that will automatically save it, um, the weighted categories for all the ones that I have. So then you'll click Save. So the categories are successfully, are successfully assigned for each of the gradebooks. Now let's dig into how we actually um, create the assignments. So there's two different ways here. If you have have a test that the information has been scanned via the, um, the grade cam into Illuminate already. That's method one. Or method two is if there's something that you just hand graded and you want to put those assessment scores into Illuminate, you can do that also. So first we'll figure out how do we do that if we want to just, we've created an exit ticket, we hand graded it in class, and then we want to put that um, exit ticket slash quiz into Illuminate. You'll go up here to Assignments and then Add Assignment. Once you add Assignment, you're going to want to just put a short name. All the places where there's a red asterisk means that um, it's required. So we'll say this is Context Clues. Don't worry about description or tags. It does need to be marked with a category. So I only want it this weighted 20%. So I'm going to put Quiz for that. The date that it was assigned. Right now, I'm not linking it to an assessment, but the possible points is going to be 100. Um, I would say, unless you have already talked with um, 
someone in your content team about uh, making the points different, weighted differently, go ahead and put everything out of 100. Because tests are going to be weighted 80% and quizzes 20%, it'll all average out in the end. You can give a possible score uh, if there is one, usually not necessary if you have it out of 100. And then is active, you want this always clicked to yes, which is the default. That just means it's going to show up in the parent portal and the student portal. If, for example, you were giving a diagnostic where you actually didn't want it to count towards student grades and you didn't want them to actually see what they scored, you could click no for that. And then you're going to want to figure out what sections you're adding it to. So you can add it to just one section at a time or you can add it to all the sections. So in this example, I'm already in the fifth grade grade book, but if I wanted to add it to everyone, I would go ahead and click here to all grade books. And then finally, you'll press save. So I'm going to add it to all the grade books and press save. What you'll notice here is that it comes up with the students, and right now it's grayed out because the score hasn't been um, input for the students. So I can actually go ahead now and begin to input the score. So I can input these and continue going down. It'll save as you go. So you'll see here that um, it's highlighted in uh, bright green if they have hit mastery. So that's how you would do it if you wanted to input the scores manually. Now I'm going to show you um, if you already have quiz data or test data that um, you scanned into um, Illuminate already, then you want to make sure it shows up in the gradebook. This is what you would do. So. I'm actually going to go back out so that I can go to the assessments. And I want to list all the assessments. So in the assessment list, this has all the assessments that I um, created and all the assessments that are essentially in the test bank. So find your assessment. For the sake of this, I'm just going to use uh, this assessment for here, January Spiral. So I'll click on this one. There's no data in yet, but when you have data, it will be added in. And then click up to administration. You're going to click link to gradebook. When you click link to gradebook, it's going to go through the steps for you where you'll just tag it, figure out what am I linking to. I'm always going to link to overall. I only want the overall score to be added into kids' grades. So historically, we've done um, some of the kickboard work where we were averaging the standards, but because we're making our tests in such a way that the standards on the test are going to be weighted so that if the standard is very important to my course, I will put five questions. If a standard is not as important in the scope of the course, you would probably have about two questions. And so because of that, because the teacher is making the decision on the test in, we're going to go ahead and click overall for that. So you'll click overall and you'll click submit. So I'm not going to submit this one so it doesn't go into Annie's, but once you click submit, all the data will be uploaded into uh, the gradebook for you. If you have any other um, of the questions, a lot of it is in the, um, the guide that we handed out during PD on Friday, but please reach out to me um, via email or in person. I'll be happy to walk through it with you. Have a good day, guys.